Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showcasing version 2 of the UE4 fan spawner. You might have noticed it's increased by uh, $10. This is because of the new features that I've added, but obviously if you've pre-purchased it, if you purchased it already, it's free. Um, unfortunately this version, uh, version 2 is only available for 4.27 and above when UE4 5, when Unreal Engine 5 comes out, it will be available for that. So. The first feature that I've added is a color randomizer. And sorry, the first feature I've added is actually 8K fans. Now there's a new folder in here called 8K fan models. So if I go to demo uh, stadium based demo. Might be this one. Yep, this one here. So as you can see, we have the fans here. These are the new 8K fans. And you can actually see in the folder we have gained five new fans. So 17, 18, 19, and 20. Now with this fans, there's also comes a mask. This is only available for the 8K fans. And what this allows us to do is we filter out based on the texture each color. So you know the top I've done red, uh the trousers I've done green, and um everything else gets left with the black. And also the shoes are blue. If I can find one to show you. There you go, there's the one with the blue in it. You see, it's fairly straightforward. I just done it on Photoshop. But what this actually allows us to do is when I press over here, <coughs> you'll notice that this panel's changed a little bit in the fans BP. If this is the first video you're watching, please check out the trailer video and tutorials 1, 2, and 3. So what we need to do here is we can click spawn 8k well 8k character spawn so as long as we got this enabled it will spawn 8k characters now what it means by 8k is it's not necessarily 8k resolution like the textures it's more 8k tries so the other ones if you had this off and click spawn these are 4000 tries and there's only uh, 15 fans but if you t remove these and spawn in the 8k fans you'll notice that there's a few new faces now see that you can also see there's a, there's a new face there and try to find where the new face there there's a new face there you also see that like quite there's quite a lot of repetition here so we've got this these two and these three you know it's quite obvious to see but what a new feature I've added is the ability to mix clothes now what this does is with the filter maps that we've that we've got the masks um, if we enable this, per instance, it will make a random colour, so it adds a bit of variety to it. Now, if I quickly show you in here, for example, this is fan number 5. Or actually, maybe this isn't a good example. If I take maybe fan number 1 is a better example. So I'm just going to give you a rundown. There's a lot of tweaks and settings you can do in here, but I've optimised it for what I think is the best. Uh, shirt colour balance. For example, if I was to make the 0, you'd see it get brighter. Or, sorry darker but this sort of softens it a bit because I found that it was too hard in the eyes sometimes so the, like the color balances kind of soften it uh, also shirt soften is like a mix so you can mix because it takes in like the normal color and this one and lays this all, lays, layers this a new color on top of it you can actually adjust it so if it's still too hard in your eyes you can adjust the overall one with the softener and you can see how it like goes back to the original color so I like prefer to leave this one at one though and just adjust the other ones. The other ones are different kind of things. The only other one that I would go over is the switch blend mode. Now this can actually change the colour of it depending on uh, what's best for you. I kind of decide to randomise it and also pick the ones that are best. Some of them don't work as well. So that's the best option for that. So another feature I've added is I've added two new animations. Now I was struggling to think of the new animations that I could add. Um, this one's quite a crucial one. Oh, sorry, not a crucial one, but quite like it kind of adds to the game sort of thing if you've got especially like a stadiums and that. So what I've actually done is if you go to animation 11, you've got this one. And I've actually sped up the jumping animation. So like if you're, you know, 
it looks more like a celebration and you can transition that into like like another celebration animation right but if we go to 12 now you'll actually see they all are uh, what we have a walk into seat animation now this was the biggest part i would say of this new update it's a, it was actually a really complicated process and you'll see why i'll go over why in a minute but if we change this to 13 we also have it from the other way right you can see as they sit down they disappear and go back to the start now with the vertex animation and how i've done this through maya it was so it was such a long complicated process because i had to keep exporting them from maya into here and uh keep testing it and then keep debugging it but we eventually got there in the end so what we've actually done as well is to make it a lot easier so this is just just put this to six spawn the fans in or even seven now if we have this ch checked right it says only available at runtime you'll actually see if we spawn in the fans now it won't do anything just now but when you play it we'll actually have like one person try to get back to the seat and you'll get past all the fans i'll just wait so you can see this animation play out but it's actually a really good animation and you can see and get back to this seat there and you know another one goes sometimes they come from this side sometimes they come from the other side i did do like like i did try like a random start point but with the speed distance and time for the vertex animations it just wasn't going to be like suitable it wasn't going to look very good sometimes they'd finish and then they jump back so it didn't look like the cleanest so in the end this is the what i decided to go for so that's it for the fans bp next thing i'm going to be showing you is the features in the fan spawner now this one this first feature i'm going to go over was a feature i wasn't even thinking about added i totally forgot about when, when i was designing the product but shout out to greg gavitt who even uh, made a video myself showing this mod that he made uh and he's gave uh, a lot of love and support for the bp fan spawner so what what his feature was or something like this was that not everybody's distance is going to be the same for example his stadium stacked up went like further like the chairs would to go further back so what i've actually added is now you can adjust the z so originally we i i like to have it 20 for my stands right but his might have needed the space is a bit bigger so with this all you need to do is go in here and just add to that so let's say i want to make it go to an extra 20 going back see how it makes it thinner going back so it adds a bigger gap you know and you could really go as far as you want with this to make uh depending on how far i mean maybe the hundred is a bit ridiculous but you know you can do whatever to your heart's content and also the same goes for sideways so we put like 50 you know it makes them really really spread out so uh, that's a really useful feature so thank you very much greg for that su uh, suggestion and the other feature you will have noticed here i'll just put this back to zero is we actually now have a name override well sorry this name override this name override was actually here before but what you'll notice what's different is now when we put a name in say for example my name's ewan so put my name in here let's enter and once you commit the text and it's like add chairs in it'll actually add add it in with that name so now you have a renamer so so for example when i was filling all my stands in in my stadium i had like uh i couldn't really rename them because it would just come up saying fans bp and it'd be a bit annoying because if i clicked on them they would have that much chairs in it that it would start lagging which obviously if you already have the fans spawn you'll know that if you know you spawn the fans in and it's in a large quantity as long as you're not clicking on it, it it's fine it won't it doesn't lag at all i'll actually even show you with the eight thousand uh triangle i'll even show you a test to show that it runs well so that's about it but our next feature is also you'll see these people here these carbo cards people for example if you're at an event or something that doesn't include chairs and you want it so that it's just standing i've actually included this cardboard cutout of people so it gives you a rough idea where they are soon it'll be i'll be putting a button here or here you'll see it to, to do this feature but for just now while i'm developing it it's just uh this little checkbox here 
and you see it makes the cardboard cut out of people and all you need to do is click add in uh, add chairs in and then you can move them and there you have it that's the they just represent the exact same thing as a chair but when you play it they end up disappearing see they end up disappearing but then if you spawn the fans and the fans would spawn here so now I'll just go and show you the 250k test this can be located. Where is it? Demo maps. There we go. 250k test. There we are. Now, I do obviously recommend that if you are on a lower end PC, not to use the 8K fans. Currently, I haven't tested it on any other graphics card. I've tested the 4K fans on a 1050 Ti and I get great results. You know, you get 30 to 60, no, sorry, 40 to 60 FPS on this. But I haven't, I don't have the 1050 anymore, so I can't really test it with that. But for the 2070 Ti is what I, what I currently have. If I quickly play this. Sorry, I'll just stop that just now. If I go to Window viewports and viewport 2 it'll just give you a better idea if we turn on the fps and press alt p now it will drop while it spawns them in but once it spawns them in it was perfect there we are so here we are this is all of our fans and it can go on for miles and it's you know getting good fps 120 116 if i move around really fast this it's quite remarkable, you know, and with the, especially with the mixer mode, you can't even tell that, so, okay, like, some of the fans you can tell, but it helps a lot with the mixer mode, and uh, not seeing much duplicates of fans, it's never going to be perfect, but this is the best we can get. Thanks for watching the video, and I hope you enjoy the product.